Workers all over the world are observing the day as Workers' Day, celebrated on the first day of May every year to commemorate the struggles and gains made by the workers and, of course, the labor movement. Now, here in Nigeria, organized labor and their affiliates converged at the Eagle Square Abuja for their usual parade. Some of those in attendance at the rally are the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, Minister of Labor and Employment, Mr. Chris Ngige, Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Mr. Mohamed Bello, and Minister of Women Affairs, Mrs. Pauline Talon. The workers are asking for a review of the retirement age for all public servants from 60 to 65 years and years of service from 35 years to 40 years. If you get 30,000 of any economy, in any economy, in any currency, this world, I think it's a big win. But these things have been eroded by bad governance. If you gain 30,000, if it's in dollar, if it's in pound, you know that that's one of the strongest negotiations you can earn. But as you are earning it, you know, you discover that it's been eroded by lack of macro and microeconomic, you know, uh, operations by the state. You know, if you gain 30,000 Naira and then inflation takes it over and you de devalue your Naira, you know, that it is now worth over 40, uh, 40 dollars, that's the problem. So the workers, as we are trying, as we are pushing, to improve their condition, you know, some forces, you know, probably, you know, out of leadership, are giving up. And if you get 100,000 tomorrow, you see the level of devaluation, you know, that they will just bring in and down. That is making our prop, our our uh, activities so difficult, you know. Now, if you are even allowed 30,000 naira minimum wage and bring naira, you know, at par with dollar, or even at uh, 50 naira. 50, 50 naira per uh, to a dollar. You see that you can beat your chest anywhere that we have done a lot.